What's up, people? Welcome back. This is by request. I'm on, someone requested this months ago. I'm getting to this late. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to take a, a quick look at Chromixium OS, running this inside a virtual machine. Seems to be running OK. Oh, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Change wallpaper. Do that. All right, there we go. All right, so I, I installed this inside a virtual box. It seems okay. This is a lightweight operating system from what I saw. Let's go ahead and go to the Chromium app launcher. Go to the Chromixium uh, website real quickly and see what they have to say. So Chromix, Chromixium.org. And this is a blending or a marriage. By the way, this is 32-bit and also 64-bit. Yeah, this is a combination of Ubuntu's uh, long-term support release and Chrome OS. It says Chromixium combines the best of Ubuntu and the best of Chrome OS. You will need at least 512 megabytes of RAM, one gig is preferred, and at least a gigahertz, one gigahertz PAE capable Intel AMD processor. So this should scream, run quickly on a new machine. It should be fine for a not too outdated old computer. All right, the default desktop here. Let's take a quick look at some of the shortcuts. All right, power, Ethernet, networking, power manager, XFCE, power manager, interesting. Let's see, volume, probably if you right click, yes, more functions here, volume control settings. If you've messed with Linux based, especially Ubuntu based systems before, then this should come as no surprise. There's my microphone there, very good. And of course, the time and date. This is files, of course, the file manager. I guess this looks like Nautilus, I think. Google Drive, YouTube, Gmail, Chromium, and of course, the Chromium app launcher. So, so far, this seems to be running okay. This should run probably a little bit faster as a full install, but it seems to be stable enough in a virtual box if you wanted to test this. All right, let's go ahead and right click. All right, change wallpaper. Let's take a look at control panel. All right, this is simple enough. I like the use of white space and the icons, very easy on the eyes. Oh, let's see if anything catches my attention here. <laughs> Um, well, let's take a look at the Chromixium Software Center. Get software, installed software, and download. Search for software. Um, okay, let's search for um, Banshee Media Player. <coughs> Excuse me. And there you go, it's right there. Okay, well that's easy enough. Let's get out of that. Let's see, right click again. Run command application, sign into Chromium, Chromium, log out and shut. Let's go to applications real quick. Settings, okay. We looked at that, simple enough. Accessories, let's see if anything catches my eye. Applications, archive, calculator, we've seen this before. Applications menu, I've seen that. Shortcut in XFCE, is that what that is? It is, oh, Cardapio, interesting. Let's drag the dock, drag, let's drag it to the dock. And see what we have. Yes, I have seen this before, very nice. I actually like this shortcut, this application launcher, especially for beginners, definitely check it out. Very nice. Let's go to um, yeah. Let's try. Let's, let's check out the task manager. All right, about 300 megabytes of RAM in a VBox. Not bad. Very nice. All right, let's right click again. Applications. Let's see. We looked at accessories. Go to graphics. All right, just a couple of there. Internet, BitTorrent, uh, Chromium, App, Web, Gmail, Google, Browser Choice, Drive and your accounts. Google browser choice. What is that? Please choose between these two web browsers. Chromium browser default in Chromixium and fully open source. 
Google Chrome based on Chromium but contains proprietary codecs. Very nice. So if you are a newbie to all of this and wanted to know what the difference is, there you go. Well done. Well, so far, my Linux slash Windows brain tells me that this might be something that a beginner may want to check out. Even if you're not a beginner and wanted something fast, check it out. Let's see, multimedia, just a couple here. The usual suspect system. Ah, GW Package Manager. I use that quite a bit. Very nice. All right, let's get out of that. And let's see. System, the Synaptic Package Manager, I also use quite a bit to delete and install software. It's more powerful. I work. Yeah, I probably need to install updates. I know. Let's get out of that. <laughs> okay, that was a quick look at the superb Synaptic Package Manager, and it is very nice. Trust me on that one. Well, what can I say? If you are a beginner to the world of Linux and wanted to check this out, this does have a graphical installer, so it is easy to install. If you wanted to try this, you don't have to give up your Windows system. You can try this in a VBox. It seems to be running okay. It's quite safe, uh, especially since my son's cat approves of this. That's his, that's his approval. That's her approval. Look, it's a she. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Need to take some more medicine. But yeah, take a look at Chromixium OS. Thank you to the person who suggested I take a look at this. I may just keep this in a vir virtual box and keep testing it. It seems okay. So if you want to try something that looks different, something lightweight based on Ubuntu's LTS release support, definitely check out Chromixium OS. I will have all the links below in the show notes. All right, I need to take my cough medicine. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.